No, right as we're getting halfway through spring, here comes that winter like weather yet yeah, again. We just can't stay away. We right? just can't stay away. And especially on the weekends, it's always that timing, right? No. Yeah, those weather patterns over the last couple of weeks, they have been consistent and definitely showing signs of giving us more wet weather on the weekend. So hopefully after this one, we can wrap things up a little bit more. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, here's a look outside right now at Sacramento International Airport. You can see clear skies overhead, plenty of sunshine in store for us today. Temperatures will continue to be warming up as we head into the afternoon. But looking at satellite and radar, here's the big changes on the way. We are going to be watching this incoming storm system, this large area of low pressure dropping in from the north, tied to a lot of cold air and some really good moisture. It's tapping into a weak atmospheric river out towards the mid latitudes. This will start to move in as we head through the day tomorrow, but some of us may end up picking up rain as early as tonight. Here's a look at future cast. What we can expect to see rain will start to move in across northern portions of the region and mainly along the coastal range, then starting to get inch closer as we head through the morning tomorrow by about eight o'clock in the morning. That'll be our first chance of picking up our first rounds of rain across portions of the valley, the Bay Area and even across the Delta. Rain will continue to fill in. And yes, those yellow orange colors that's indicating a heavier round of rain that will be moving in as the bulk of this storm really starts to arrive. Wind will start to pick up too. gusts upwards about 35 miles per hour will be possible, especially ahead of that cold front once it advances. As we take a look at the afternoon, rain will really start to focus more towards the foothills and Sierra snow levels starting off high at first, but then dropping down to about 5,000 to even 4,000 feet as we head into early Sunday. The good news is that as we head into the evening on Saturday, we do start to dry out across portions of the valley keeping a few scattered showers around, but the bulk of the action going to be across the Sierra. It will be a slick commute, so if you do have any travel plans over the passes, make sure to have your chains ready to go because we could see some more chain controls going back into effect. As we head into early Sunday, we are going to keep those low snow levels going and of course a few more snow showers before we do start to see activity wrapping up by the afternoon on Sunday. A lot more sunshine for us across the valley out towards the coast, but across the foothills and Sierra can't rule out a few more passing showers as we head into the afternoon. Here's a look what you can expect to moisture wise. We are expecting about half an inch to up to an inch, especially for eastern sides of the valley. As you get closer to the foothills and Sierra mounts do trend a little bit higher and some of our hardest hit spots could see about three inches of moisture when all is said and done. Of course, that's very different when it comes to snow with snow levels dropping just a bit more. We could end up with about five to ten inches of snow, especially for elevations above six 6,000 feet. So enjoy the sunshine out there today. Temperatures already starting to warm up right now with many of us in the mid 70s. As we head into the rest of the afternoon, many of us getting back into the 80s across the valley floor around 86 in Sacramento today. As you get closer to the Delta back into the upper 70s, 60s and 70s across the foothills and Sierra. But that cooler change arriving as we head through the day tomorrow with highs only ending up in the 50s. So tomorrow first alert action day. But as we head into Sunday, just in time for Cinco de Mayo, things do start to dry out. Plenty of sunshine through next week and warming temperatures too. That's check your forecast. Time now for a quick break.